This is a joint project uh, between uh, the group of Professor Yossi Ovel and my group. This is a continuation of a previous project that we had, where we've shown that plants emit sounds, short ultrasonic clicks, particularly when stressed. And that uh, brought the question of who may be listening to these sounds, where the sounds contain two types of information. First, there is a plant here. Second, the plant is stressed. And one organism that may be interested in this information is moss. First, moss are capable of hearing ultrasonic uh, sounds. And second, when focusing on uh, female moss that are about to lay eggs, they are interested in the plants. Ideally, they would like to lay their eggs around the plant and a plant that is in good condition, that may support the larva for a long time. And this led to the current research. Now we have female moth with the most important evolution question. They want to know where is the best place to oviposit their offspring, the next generation. And we wanted to add to this dilemma, do you understand the signals that plants are producing? So we exposed these female moths to an arene. On one side of the arene, there was the clicking, the playback of the clicking plants. And then the other side was silent. And we found that the female moths prefer laying their eggs around these clicks, meaning that they understand that this is a very a sure signal of a plant. And we wanted to take it further. Do you understand when is this signal produced? Aiming to that, we added two healthy tomato plants. One is set it above the speaker, clicking healthy plant, only one signal of stress. And on the other hand, there was a healthy plant and that plant was silent. And we found that the female moth understand the signal and now they prefer laying their eggs around the silent plant. Meaning that this is not only understood as a floral a, a acoustic sound, it's also produced under stress. In this study, we found for the first time acoustic interaction between animals and plants. We knew that animals interact acoustically with each other, but we didn't know until now that insects interact with plants acoustically. Uh, we are sure that this is only the tip of the iceberg and that more is yet to come.